Hey viewers, it's Billy from Billy's Bike Adventures. Uh, today I'm uh, just going to be showing you what I always take with me no matter uh, where my journey is going or how short it is. I always keep this pack on the bike, it's permanently attached. Um, so keep watching, I'll show you what I've got in there and I'll tell you why I've got it. So this is the bag that I always have with me no matter where I go, no matter how short or long the journey. Um, so let me unpack it, let me show you what's inside and tell you the reasons why. So here we have it. I have nine things in my bag that I take with me no matter where I go. So let me go through them and tell you what they are. So the first thing in my pack that I always take with me no matter where I go, all-in-one waterproof suit. So it's an oversuit for your kit that you're wearing, your safety gear, um, and I always take this with me. Um, blighty weather, you never know when you're going to be caught in a heavy shower so or, or, or out riding for the day if you're on a trip. Uh, so I always take this with me no matter where I go. Second and probably the most important thing for me is a first aid kit. Um, and this is uh, not necessarily for me, but for anybody else that I might be out with. So if I come across another biker that's had an accident, they might want some first aid. Or as I was the other day up in, uh, when I was on my way back from Kill the Forest, we stopped off in uh, the Lake District and rode over the uh, Hard Knock Pass. And uh, on the way down, there was actually a road race, a push bike race, and a cyclist had actually come off due to some diesel that had been spilt all the way down Hard Knot Pass, um, and that poor fella, um, as I turned the corner, was just waking up for his un unconscious fall, and he was a right state, so it came in very useful just to sh share some supplies to wipe his cuts and grazes down, and give him a few plasters and bandages. The other thing is my Leatherman, I always take this with me, you never know when you're going to be, you're going to need a Leatherman multi-tool, so hardly ever gets used but it is in my bag uh, just in case as a as a necessary. The other thing I have is uh, some Allen keys, um, Allen keys for the bike and also some, um, some spider web uh, keys. So I take these no matter where I go just in case you, uh, well, you're going to need them. So um, they'll fit pretty much everything on the bike apart from obviously the nuts and bolts. Jump leads. Um, might look silly, but uh, a couple of years ago on a trip to kill the forest in Sunderland National Park, a mate of mine run out uh, his battery, uh, uh, drained uh, for whatever reason, uh, couldn't start his bike, and of course these uh, bikes with electronic uh, ignitions now can't actually bump start the bike, so I um, uh, had to go and buy some jump leads from a garage nearby, so I always take these with me now no matter where I go. Not necessarily for in this country, but if you're abroad, especially France, it's a legal requirement to have a high visibility vest if you break down on the side of the road. So I keep it in there just in case. Um, you never know when you might need it. A puncture repair kit I always take, take with me. Uh, inside here I've got uh, a good kit, never been used, I have to say, thankfully. Uh, but I've got a nice kit in here that um, uh, has the, uh, the gas, canisters, gas canisters to inflate. Um, but again, one of the tools that I always take with me, fingers crossed I'll never have to use it, but um, going off-road a lot, I might very well have to in some instances. And the last thing that I always have in my bag is an extra layer uh, on top uh, for my upper half of my body. So, um, especially the winter weather in Blighty, uh, you may think you've packed enough, but always good to have a spare top uh, to keep you warm in winter. So there we have it, that's my essential pack that I always take with me. Uh, no matter how far I go, how short the journey, and is permanently attached to my bike. Hope that's been of use to you. Um, if you found it interesting, please like and also subscribe to my channel. Uh, please also share with other people that you might find beneficial to share this with them if they are just starting out as a novice like me on adventure motorbikes. Um, but for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.